Good afternoon and welcome to the Gozo uh, Stadium where we are doing our game of the week. Brand new feature called Did You Know? Did You Know is going to give us some information about the two teams playing, which this week, of course, is our feature teams are Nadur and Shokia. And we even have some fantastic background noises for you from them cutting the grass, get ready for the weekend. So let's get started. Did you know that since 2015, both of these teams have met a total of 15 times, Shokia winning set seven, Nador winning six, and three draws. Did you know that between 1997 and 1999, Nador remained unbeaten against Shokia for nine consecutive games, winning six and drawing three? And did you know also that revenge was taken between 1983 and 1987, Shokia remained unbeaten against Nador also for nine games, winning seven and drawing two. Did you know in 1995, Nador had their biggest ever win against Shokia, which is by eight goals to nil. Revenge again was taken by Shokia and they had to wait, we had to wait for a 6-0 uh, win over Nador, which came in 1984. Did you know that Chris Camilleri has played 635 domestic games for Nador? Quite achievement. Congratulations, Chris. Did you also know that Bruno Domingos Edison has scored four goals uh, in four games so far this season? So now we come to a really interesting part of uh, Did You Know? Because at this stage, I was going to announce to everybody, Did You Know? about the player who was about to make his 350th appearance for Shokia, which is amazing, this weekend against Nadur, having scored 84 goals, which is a hit rate of 2.9 a game, which is fantastic. But I can't make that announcement because, as we probably know, Rodney has left the building and he's gone on loan to uh, El Selim. Uh, who knows whether he'll manage to come back at some stage before his career ends and get that all-important last game in and make it 350 appearances. Joshua, of the same name, by the way, uh, will make his 200th appearance this weekend, however, well done to Joshua, which means together both of them will have made uh, well 549 appearances for Shokei, which is a fantastic achievement. Hope you've enjoyed this new feature in our show. Did you know these facts? You do now. Thanks for tuning in. See you YB. See you next week. So good evening and welcome to episode three of Game of the Week. This week we are covering Shokia against the current champions Nadur. So Shokia Tigers, we're at their um, training pitch at the moment, waiting for the players to arrive. But we are with their coach, Alexander. Welcome to uh, to our little interview here. First question is, um, how is your squad currently after a pretty tough game at the weekend? First of all, good evening and uh, thanks for coming. And uh, yes, uh, it's very hard after the tough game. Yeah, we know what uh, we are facing, you know, and uh, we try to prepare for that game. It was a very tough game. I think the result was a bit big yesterday, but anyway, I still them deserve to win. They were better than us, but uh, we try to recover quickly because, like you said, there is another big game in front of us and we try to focus on, on that one now. Exactly. And injuries, are you OK injury-wise? Uh, yeah, we have... Uh, Two players that I changed uh, in a half time, you know, that was uh, Chefai, he's slightly injured, and Thomas as well. But I hope and I, I think that they will be in the squad for the next Sunday. Fantastic. I just wanted to retouch, you just spoke about today a little bit because I didn't, the, the scoreline of 5 1, we all felt didn't really reflect it. We thought you were in the game right up till the 2 1, especially. Um, it seemed to go. As I think you mentioned as well, after the penalty, things went a bit loose, and then once it went 4-5, it was over. But yeah. normally people think a 5-1 is a thrashing. That was a long way from a thrashing. I yeah, really yeah, felt. I, I agree with you. And uh, like you said, I think the result, it was a, a, bit, a, bit, a little bit big. But when you see the, the, the game, you know, and uh, I think they have a, a 11 shots on goal and uh, eight of them in target, half of them, they scored. So. I mean, uh, they're a good side, they're yeah. well organized, yeah. they, they've been playing together for two years, I think, it's the same squad. And for me, they have uh, they win our midfield and they win attack, especially they have good attacking uh, players, you know, and the midfield, that's, that's decide the game, you know, that's what I think. And that's also, good. also I think we didn't open the game how I wanted, you know, we conceded the, the, the goal third minute after the set piece, set piece that we, we lost marking and the, the second goal, it was... Uh, mistake from the player but uh, that's part of the game of course and then uh, like you said you know we we came back to one and we started we had good 15 minutes 
you know, I think that 15 minutes we were better, but then uh, last uh, minute of the first half we got a penalty, and, and the uh, I think that changed a lot. You, you just mentioned there, I was going to actually mention for the views that, um, I mean, Gelsi Lamar definitely, uh, we feel they're the informed uh, team at the moment, also un unbeaten along with Nadeau. And as you mentioned there, they, 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 have, they, they manage 11 shots, they have 8 yeah. out of 11 on target, yeah. and 5 of those are goals. That's quite a very good, efficient uh, front three. Yeah, I yeah, think they really yeah. did the damage overall. Yeah, the back, the yeah front. also they play, they, they, they press very high, you know, and they have, like I said, one of the best uh, at attacking uh, players in, in, the, in the league, you Record know. So holder. it's, uh, uh, they, are, they, are, they are doing very well, good pressing, you know, and things like that. So from that, it came that uh, amount of uh, shots on goal. For sure. So, yeah. do, do you think now also, because we've had this, like you said, six weeks out, it's been this really tough period now where we haven't been playing many games. Do you think the fact now that you've got a quick game coming up, it's good to get that out of your system, it helps after a defeat like that? Yeah, first we had a good momentum, you know, that yeah. uh, we built up for that first four games that we played, you know, and then we didn't play for six weeks. Which, uh, I think it's a long period for a team, you know, to lose that momentum. And we, we had a really tough game, but thankfully now the fixture changed. I'm happy with it that we're going to play nearly every weekend. And, uh, you know, you don't have time to think about what happened yesterday. We just have to take some notes from yesterday, try to, to erase them for next game, try to improve. And I believe that my team, you know, we can do it. We can do it. We don't have a pressure, you know, and uh, I think we will give a hard game to, to Nadur next weekend. Fantastic. That was actually my last question. Um, coach, if you feel confident within your squad of players that they can, they've got the character to bounce back after. But you know, nobody likes to lose 5-1. You know, nobody likes to do an interview after the yeah, loss either, which but, would be uh, very brave. You know, uh, I didn't mention that, that Shokia built this team. This is the new team compared to last team. I think maybe only one player is here from last year, so it's very hard wow. to put everything together. Also, we have some young players that, uh, you know, I can mention their future of the club. And uh, we're focused on that. We, we are focusing on build up the team for next two, three years. That's our aim. But uh, I think that we have a great character and we show a couple of games that we were losing. We had a player, two players down, one player down when we came back and we won. So we have character and we have that fighting spirit. Great. And uh, I think we'll never give up until the, the last whistle of the referee. It's fantastic. I mean, even even now, if, if you did manage to get that win against Nadur, it, you know, uh, it puts you straight back into the chase again. It puts you in a very comfortable, you're not looking over your shoulder, you know, yeah, yeah. going down. You're in a very good position. So let's let's hope you can, we can pull that one out. Yeah. Coach, I want to thank you so much. Um, we, we were near, there's some da dance music going on in the background. So if the <laughs> questions were rubbish, we were going to have a little dance, but we're okay. We got yeah, through it. You can, you can. <laughs> Alexander, thank you so much for, uh, for yeah, the time. You're welcome. And, and thank we'll, you for, we'll for your, you back. yeah, thank okay. you for your job that you are doing. You know, it's very helpful for us coaches to take some loans from, from each game, you know, and uh, just keep it up. Keep up good work. It's very Thanks a lot. Thanks so thank much. You. Thanks, coach. Thank you. Eh, purtroppo non, non, siamo, non siamo riusciti a prendere nessuno che... Questa è la domanda, no? Sì, che sì, sì, sì. Non abbiamo trovato giocatori che potevano servirci. Anche Però, sugli infortuni. Eh, sui nostri infortuni? Sì, sì, eh, sì, purtroppo sì. abbiamo più di un infortunio. Abbiamo Gabriel, Farrugia, Stefan, eh, che già si vanno ad aggiungere a Dylan e a qualcun altro che purtroppo non giocavamo da 20 giorni. e eh, Abbiamo pagato un po'... Questa cosa. Um, he's telling us that uh, about the transfer market, we did not uh, manage to get anyone um, who was interesting for us. Uh, and about the uh, injuries, uh, we had two serious injuries: Stefan, uh, Stefan Cassar, and also um, Gabriel. Um, and we have another two or three who are not going to be playing tomorrow because they are like a 50 Troppo 50. Tempo firme. Uh, they spent almost 20 days without training because of the quarantine and I think that really affected the players. Okay, so slightly weakened um, because um, of course you, you have a big game because you have a cup game tomorrow. Yeah. Um, it's very strange because you go six weeks no games and then one two three. three yeah, 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 yeah. And, you know, and it's 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 a whole physical it's a whole physical thing to get the players. Normally you can go gradually, but this yeah, is very yeah, yeah, very yeah, quick. Yeah. Will you rotate, or will you try to go full team both sides? Sì, sì, facciamo una rotazione un po' per premiare qualcuno 
che non gioca, non gioca da molto. È un po' perché abbiamo delle defezioni, abbiamo degli infortuni. Um, we will rotate um, uh, we're going to give chance to everybody to play also because some of the rotations are also forced because of the injuries okay super so then first of all congratulations on uh, last week's win Thank you. a hard fought win may i say it, yeah, was, it, was, it was it was it was a pretty close game um you know it was it was like 52 48 with the possession um and i i thought it was quite a tough game and you know with only actually five shots on goal it was very, very tight all the way through. My question is, do, do you think that this is, is a lot to do because you're still coming up to speed, you're still trying to get the players after being so long away? You know, so were you pleased with, with what you got? Ero contento con la prestazione o abbiamo più da lavorare? Abbiamo molto da lavorare. Abbiamo molto da lavorare. Non abbiamo giocato come di solito giochiamo, come abbiamo fatto poco possesso palla. Però era una partita uh, dura, dove uh, la tattica lascia il tempo che trova. Era una battaglia. Erano due squadre importanti, dove meritavano tutti e due il risultato. Eh, secondo me. Um, uh, we did not play our usual game. Usually we play the ball on the floor more. It was like a battle. Um, yeah. uh, so a lot of tactics went out of the window um, uh, it was a game where both teams could have got the points yeah it was very very it tight, was tight. Um, this week now you're going to face uh, Shokia who, yes. who, who'd gone undefeated until this week so they've just come off the back of a 5-1 defeat which is never easy um, do you think they're going to be sort of uh, more up for it and try to get those points back again? I mean, um, you know, four wins, although they hadn't really faced any uh, of the top teams. So you got that one to come? I think that the Shokia after the conflict will be more difficult for us. No, I don't think they will be more difficult. I think that there is a great grande rivalry between the two squadre. And so every game has a sua story. Uh, penso che lo Shaqui è una squadra organizzata, molto, e fanno della loro arma migliore la, il pressing, la cattiveria. E noi dobbiamo giocare come sappiamo, come io spero che i miei possano fare, giocare con la palla a terra e, e girare sempre la palla e tenere sempre nel possesso palla. Questo è il mio obiettivo. You know, not only Shaqui, it's always a big game. Yes. There is a great rivalry. So, uh... We, we know that Chiaukia, they always play till the last minute, they fight on every ball, they really, their coach uh, have a really good uh, organization in the, in the field, but we hope that we will play our game, ball on the floor, from passing side game. to side passing game, we hope that we will uh, do good. Because at, uh, at the weekend now, we, we watched the, we were filming the 5-1 game and as soon as it got to 2-1, we thought they're going to do it again because they seem to battle back yeah, all yeah, the they time, do, they, they, do, they, they, do, they, they never do. seem to give up. Perché continuano a lottare fino alla fine. Sì, sì, sì. You can't sort of, if you're too nil, you can't sì. relax. Non no, puoi no, rilassare. No, 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 noi no, noi no. <laughs> noi non possiamo rilassarci proprio. Noi abbiamo un obiettivo importante. So my last question then, guys, is uh, just about your opposition. Now we've been, um, I, know, I know you were there coach on, on Sunday to see uh, El Cielo play. And you have to be fairly impressed with them. They, they, they look sì, pretty the uh, uh, team at the moment. They have a very good forward line at the moment, and they, they look pretty good. So, um, are you still confident we can get up there? Io cerco di vedere tutte le partite per conoscere un po' tutti i giocatori. He tries to watch all the games to, to, to Anche get quelle to know di seconda well divisione. All, all the players and go to even okay. second division teams. Perché bisogna conoscere il calcio, bisogna conoscere i giocatori che tu vai ad affrontare e le caratteristiche che hanno. Of course, of course. Questo è importante. Of course. Guys, I know you've got a lot to do. You've got two games coming up, so I'm going to release you straight away. Again, thank you so much for joining us on Game of the Week. We'll catch you up within the next couple of weeks. We'll be there definitely on Saturday. We don't know about tomorrow. We're waiting to hear. We might be there. We're not too sure yet. Okay. Then. So good luck tomorrow if we're not there, and good luck next week. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Thank you. Thank Welcome back to Showcase Tigers. Um, we are joined now by the captain, vice captain, and general great player of the team. Uh, Josh Ma, welcome to us. Um, tough results at the weekend. Uh, how are the boys sort of coping with it at the moment? Are they, are they back up to high spirits for the next game? Or? Well, um, it wasn't the result that we expected. Uh, we preferred to uh, 
First of all, we tried to take something from the game, but uh, the result wasn't what we really wanted. Um, it's tough because we started very well the season and uh, to lose with the score, uh, it's a bit uh, of a kick, kick in the teeth. So up next is another difficult game. It will be uh, pretty, pretty much difficult because maybe we have good quality players, but um, we will fight it out for sure. And I believe that uh, we can do something much better than the last game. I was saying to the coach now uh, when I was speaking to him, uh, when we were all, all the camera guys were watching the game, we were all talking afterwards and everyone agreed that it, it wasn't a 5-1 game. Normally when you lose 5-1 you're being thrashed or well beaten, but you seem to be in the game pretty much most of the game. There, there, was, there was a period after the penalty where it just seemed to go, but as soon as you go back to 2-1 we were all looking at each other because we've seen you have these comebacks a couple of times and it looked like you were in for it again. So I believe, we believe, the 5-1 score didn't, although they played very well, wasn't really reflective. I think you played a lot better than I. Well, uh, football is a game of episodes. That's how I define it. Um, uh, we started bad because conceding after just five minutes, um, it uh, changes all the plans that you have. But uh, when we scored the 2-1, it's true, um, uh, we, we sort of came back in the game. We conceded the goal, I think, in the worst moment, <laughs> exactly before half time, and that kills you a bit. But uh, as you said, Ancilla have quality players too. Um, they play very nice football, they pass the ball very well. Um, so their forward line, especially just more, their, their yeah, front, yeah, yeah. the front three are very effective. They're capable of, of harming you, so Absolutely. you have to be at the best, yeah. at, at the best. Yeah. And you have to, for sure, eliminate every mistake if possible. Because yeah. if you, you make that little mistake, you're punished and that's it. That's absolutely right. Also tough for you in a way because you're playing two, two of the teams back to back undefeated. They've both been undefeated. But again, I was mentioning to the coach, do you also feel that they've got the character now? Because it's one thing that you're playing the door, but sometimes it's good to get it out of your system. I mean, for example, if you had a win now against the champions, that puts you right back uh, in the points, it puts you back with the confidence. So, you know, there is a positive to play in them as well. You know, I know it's a tough game, but you've got to play them sometime in the season, so it might be a good time to do it now. Yeah, yeah, well, um, to be honest, for us now, uh, it's true. Uh, we started the season very well. We won four out of four, but we know our capabilities and our objectives. For it wasn't that we will fight for the league. It was that we gain experience. We introduce younger players. We win matches, of course, because that's what keeps keeps you alive. Um, so we will face Nadu with, with not no pressure because every game you have sort some sort of pressure, but. Um, we have nothing to lose. We have to go there, give our maximum best, fight it out, and we'll see what we can take. Absolutely. Last question. Uh, just it was a little bit of breaking news that we got at Armour live stream today uh, that uh, the the uh, the supporters in Malta have currently um, sent in a petition. They want to talk to to the government about letting supporters in. They've obviously got their arguments put forward, and we all know that safety and it's difficult times, but. Um, you must also, as players, miss that extra bit of atmosphere around the ground when you come out and you play your game, I imagine. So you must be also looking forward to that day. Absolutely, especially playing for Shogi. Yeah. Uh, the supporters are what gives you that extra boost. So I'm looking very much forward to see the supporters again and hopefully, hopefully, one day we will see them back soon. They were fantastic, even believe it or not, at the weekend. Although you can't hear them, they were all in in in, in the bar next to the ground, and it was full. <laughs> they were all looking at the TV. We were, we were actually streaming it from from the bar as well, and you know they're all there, so they're still there. But and you see them up on the on the thing, so they're really trying to get it. So let's welcome them all back soon. And listen, we really wish you the best of luck on 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 uh, the weekend against the door. We'll be there to film it. Thank you very I look much. Forward to see you on our next interview. Cheers, mate. So we're now joined by the captain, Steve. Steve, hi. Uh, congratulations on your last win. Quite a hard-fought game. It was very tight with just the one goal proving enough to get you the points. What did you think about it? 
Uh, it was uh, a balanced game. Uh, everyone was uh, aware of uh, each other. Uh, a uh, lo lot of uh, possession and, and uh, like a battle in the midfield. But uh, for me, how I saw the game, it was balanced and uh, that goal made uh, the difference. To take the point. Uh, to take the point. Absolutely. Must have felt good, Steve, to finally get back on the pitch after so long away and play a competitive game instead of friendlies. Very good, very good, <laughs> very good. Good stuff. So, this uh, couple of games this week, you've got to get a cup game, of course, tomorrow, so you've got to prepare for that one. And then you've got a, a local a local game against Shokia, of course. They're always quite quite tough. They're coming off the back of a quite a bad loss, although we were at the game and we you know we all sort of felt although it was five one, it seemed to be a lot tighter than that. And you know, you never know with Shokia. They never they battle a battle, you know, you tune it up all of a sudden three minutes to go on is two two. So you've got to be very aware. Yeah, uh, Shoki are, are a, an aggressive team and they, they never uh, give up uh, as a team. They will come at you all, all the time, uh, but uh, we're confident uh, we'll have tomorrow. First we see tomorrow and then we we think about Shoki uh, Thursday. Game at a time, huh? Last question. One of the things that was not very noticeable, um, you seem a very tight knit group of players. We we noticed like before the game, you come together, you're all hugging with the, with, with the manager, and, and whenever you score a goal, I mean, it just erupts from everywhere. I mean, it's, you, you have quite a lot of passion there, yeah, a lot of determination yeah. to come back and, and, and do the double. I think you win this year. Is that still right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, us, the players, are uh, uh, very, very motivated, and uh, we have our goal. To, to, to get the, the double, uh, everyone in training puts 100% and hopefully we will do it, that's Fantastic. our aim. Steve, I'm going to keep it short this week because you've got a lot of training, you have two games coming up after having nothing for six weeks, yeah, yeah, back yeah, three yeah. games, so <laughs> good luck tomorrow, uh, we, we don't know yet whether we're filming, we're waiting to hear, uh, if not we'll definitely be there at the weekend and good luck for that thank one, you, Steve, thank you, thank you.